Pacific India Whiskey Alpha, taxiing into position on runway 31 for departure, Woodstock. Woodstock traffic, India Whiskey Alpha, departing 31, downwind departure, heading north, climbing to 1500, Woodstock.
dig out my old reliable checklist here. Good idea. I'm descending and uh, I'm going to check out my airstrip. As long as it looks good, I'll land. Uh, if it looks good for you, come on down. If it doesn't, no worries. I'll just take off and we'll go to the airport. Affirmative. I should be able to make that work. Cool. Put my wheels out on that beach? Yeah, I think you can. Do it back over to where I am, though. It's a little smoother up this way. I'm pretty sure right in front of me, a little bit to my, uh, yeah, you got some good current going on there, don't you? You're not moving very quick. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to have to go in up river. Uh, Bob, you were below you. Yeah, don't come straight in. There's a couple of big rocks right in front of me, but just to my left, which would be your right, it's very smooth. Uh, just like 20 feet to my left. Well, would you look at that? The Challenger is back. Sorry I didn't get it all on camera and stuff, but that's because I didn't think it was going to happen that quickly. So the cameras didn't all turn on, but whatever. Here we are. We're on the beach, and uh, there's Scott in the Challenger. We'll say hi to Scott in a minute. As soon as he gets out, he's got to finish his shutdown checklist. You know how complicated Challengers are. Yeah, so here we are. This is my island. This is where... Um this is where I do takeoffs and landings and stuff for fun. But as you can see, the water level is up and my runway is sort of disappeared. I'm going to have to re realign it, I think. Cameraman, eh? Yeah, it's a great cameraman. <laughs> Scott's got his going. I got mine going. It's great. Down on the beach. Well, we finally made it. Finally made it. We said we'd do this. We've been saying it for like five years and we finally did. Okay, I'll give that to you. <laughs> well, there goes Scott back in the Challenger. He's going to fire it up and get ready to take off. We're going to head up to the Woodstock Airport. I'm still uh, just hanging out in the shade because there's no trees on this island. And Scott 
takes about 10 minutes to get ready and take off. So I thought I would just hang out here and get some footage of him firing up. So yeah, enjoy the footage of Scott acting around on the water and then uh, I'll hop in the plane and we'll fly up to Woodstock. And now he's a boat. In a minute, he'll be an airplane again. Got some good current out there. Anyway, it's time for me to start the engine, so the rest of the footage of Scott will be on the other cameras. Clear! There goes Scott! The Scott camera is not working, so no audio, sorry. All right, so we're back at the airport. Sorry about the uh, no audio. The strut cam does silly things whenever I, I don't know. I, I know I know what it is, but you don't care. So um, I should have I should have not done what I did, but I did, and it's too late. No audio for that little leg. Um, anyway, back at the airport. Scott's over there, uh, just putting the Challenger away, and we're gonna go out and have some lunch. So uh, this might be the end of the video, depending on if we do any more flying or not. I don't know. My engine's making funny noise. It's doing something that I don't like, so I'm gonna investigate that. I'll let you know if it's anything serious. But um, in case this is the end of the video, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. 
And I almost forgot um, a shout out to uh, David Z because uh, I keep forgetting to, is it Z or Z? So you're American, so I'd say Z, but I'm Canadian, so I'd say Z. So it's going to be Z, bud. It's Z. It's Z Z? Z Z. Z Z. Z Z. That's my wife. <laughs> That's my kid. That's my Scott. Hi, Scott. <laughs> Grandpa Scott. Hi, ah, Grampy Scott. <laughs> say, say bye, Grampy Scott. Bye, Grampy Scott. <laughs> well, there he goes. Back off to Edmonston. It was a fun little trip. We didn't do a whole lot of flying, but we got some in and it was nice seeing them. We had some nice lunch and all good. So anyway, Scott, hope you enjoyed the rest of your flight back and hope you enjoyed watching this video. And I'm gonna go see what's wrong with my engine now. So I'll keep you updated on what that is, if anything. Anyhow, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Well, okay, fine, the video is not done yet. Gosh, it'll end eventually. So there's the gearbox. Uh, you're wondering why is my gearbox in half and stuff? Well, let me tell you. So uh, welcome to Violet once again to the old YouTube channel. She's here being my um, airplane builder assistant, airplane re re repair builder thing. So, I don't know, whatever. She's just happy to see airplanes. She loves airplanes. Airplane! She needs a nap, she's tired. Ha! Ah, anyway, so I was saying how my engine was sounding a little bit funny and I was gonna investigate and let you know if anything was amiss. Ha! Huh. Something's amiss. So, from experience in the past, I've learned that you always start with the cheapest thing and the least expensive thing, which is basically the same thing, uh, and the easiest thing before you go on to more complicated things. So, I started with the spark plugs. Pulled the spark plugs and verified that they were all the same color and I uh, looked inside the piston, the spark plug holes at the pistons to see if I could see anything there. There's really nothing to see there, but you know, whatever. Just looking around, having a look at everything. Um, everything looked fine. So I uh, moved on to the next thing that it could be. And uh, Scott actually uh, suggested, well, why don't you check the level of the oil in your gearbox? And it might be, it might be something like that. I'm like, well, it's a sealed system. Where can the oil go? Whatever. It's cheap and easy to do. So. I pulled the plug out of the gearbox. Um, so you check the gearbox level. There's two holes and you, you pull the bottom hole and the oil should come out if it's full. Uh, well, no oil came out. Okay, so the oil's a little bit low, but I checked it with the tail up in flying attitude and I think I filled it with the tail down in this attitude with it down. So I probably should have filled it with the, the gearbox level. So maybe I didn't have enough oil in there, but everything was coated with oil. Um, so I was just going to top it up I go, okay, whatever. I'll just top up the oil and, and whatever. I thought, well, you know, I have it apart. Why don't I change the oil? So I pulled the drain plug out and it was just completely clogged with little metal shavings. Now I understand that some metal shavings are normal, but it seemed to be more than what I was expecting. And some of the little, yeah, yeah, there's another airplane. That's Dave's. Some of the metal like shavings were like flakes, like wide enough that they would reflect light, like glinting. And I was like, well, that can't be good. So um, I started doing some more digging and um, I, I dug so hard, digged, 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 dug, dug, dugging. I don't know. Um, this is one of the bearings. And if you can hear, it, make, it makes noise and it really shouldn't. It rattles and um, there's a lot of play in it and it, it even, it clicks. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's clicking. It's not good, it's bad. Look at them, Violet being silly with the tongue. Ah. Um, so the bearing's bad on, the, uh, on this side of the, it's, I don't know how to, I got a kid in my hand, it's hard to show you all these things. Anyway, the moral of the story here is listen to your gut when you feel like something's wrong with your engine and dig and start with the cheapest things and work your way up. I mean, I, it, to me, when I was flying it, it felt like there was a bearing going. I 
had a pit in my stomach thinking that it was going to be like a crankshaft bearing or something where I'm going to have to split everything open and like completely redo everything. It wasn't. It was just a gearbox bearing. So, well, I think. I don't know. We're going to fix this, put it back together and run it and see how it sounds. So, um, so far, I think this is what it is. So, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing here and put new ones in. I got new ones for like, like I think it was like $9.00. So it's not even at an expensive fix. It's just going to be um, getting it over to Dave where he can press it back in with the press at work because that's how you got to put them in properly. <laughs> Look at you. You're being silly. You're not supposed to stick your tongue out, except Daddy does all the time. <laughs> anyway, so there's the update. There, there was something wrong for sure, and I think I know what it is, and I'm going to change it, and um, I will let you know how, how she goes. But... Uh, I don't know when I'm going to release this video. I might release this before I have it all put back together and, uh, and running again. So if that's the case, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. If that's not the case, I'll see you in a second or two. All right, so I got the prop back on. The gearbox is back on. Two brand new bearings in there. Everything is re-lock wired. I've already run up the engine and retorqued the prop bolts. So those are all good to go. All I gotta do now is a circuit and see if I feel that same vibration I felt on the last flight. And hopefully I don't, because hopefully it's fixed. So I'm gonna do a circuit. I didn't bring my cameras, so you won't see the circuit, but I'll be, actually I did bring the cameras. I should put the wing strut on. I'll be right back. Hey, this is the strut cam. I don't even know if you can hear me because the audio is not plugged in, because uh, whatever. <laughs> What's up traffic, I'll just India Whiskey Alpha, taxiing into position on 3-1 for departure, Woodstock. And Woodstock traffic, India Whiskey Alpha departing, 3-1 remaining in the pattern, Woodstock. Yeah, I think it sounds good. I think I'm happy with the engine. I think it was a gearbox. It was a bearing. Bad bearing in the gearbox. That'll do it. Anyway, that's um, that's it. I'm uh, back on the ground, and uh, I got students, so I'll be flying with students, I guess. So I guess until next time, uh, keep your stick on the ice. I don't know. That's red green. That's not me. What do I always say? Oh, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. I don't know. I should come up with, like, a better catchphrase.